do you think you're still going to have to be as aggressive as, uh, as 50 or even go up to 75? Well, I think uh, offhand, uh, of course, very hard to say what will happen in the future. Uh, future uh, rate hikes, if necessary, will not be 50 or 75. I think we have, we have achieved enough uh, and done enough to anchor uh, inflationary expectations. Of course, what we do, like it or not, uh, will be affected by what the Fed does. For instance, the Fed does 275s, right? Then my, my scenario that uh, this is the last time we'll do anything unusual. As you know, 25 or zero is the usual change from one month to the next. So, and in fact, there are long months with a series of zeros, right? But uh, like it or not, the, the Fed is the central bank of the world, and we, uh, small open economies, will always have to look at the effects of their actions, especially on our exchange rate. Because uh, normally we don't really not concerned by changes in the exchange rate because we actually see it as a healthy market adjustment. As usual, we economists say if something is scarce, it should be more expensive. So if oil is scarce, uh, oil prices will rise, we, dollar demand will rise, naturally uh, the exchange rate will move. But we've gotten to the point where the change in the exchange rate it's too large to the point that it is becoming a basis for making inflation forecasts. When that happens, we have to act very aggressively. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.